This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about uh, something that happens that is going to have everybody jumping online to take a look here. Mike Rotunda is in a shoot fight and a TV taping. A real match breaks out in the middle of a wrestling match. It happened in October of 1990. I believe it was taped on October 8th, but it actually airs on October 27th. And if you'll go to YouTube and type in Mike Rotunda with an A versus Death Row, uh, you'll see this three minute and 36 second affair. Normally I wouldn't direct you to YouTube to watch a WWE program or something they own, but this is not on Peacock, of course, but this is interesting and it stands out because, uh, I guess death row, I don't know, uh, a large American gentleman. It feels as if he, uh, maybe hit Mike with a couple of live rounds and Mike had to remind him who he was <laughs> and he could wrestle him down to the ground anytime he wanted and do whatever he wanted with him. It is unlike any quote unquote enhancement match I've ever seen. And it looks like death row was not done. Even though the match was over, he was not done with the situation. And supposedly, according to the uh, newsletters at the time, wrestlers from the locker room come out and stop it. Of course that doesn't air, but still this interaction with Mike Rotundo and an enhancement guy named death row goes a little too far. Do you remember seeing this one? Yeah, and uh, it, it reminds me of the old cliche, uh, don't confuse kindness as a weakness. Right. Rotunda, such a nice guy, total pro. But, you know, you take one live round, okay, he potatoed me. I got, I got sent to Spud City. And then he does it again because he, he, he thinks he can get away with it and, and, and get over and, uh, then that didn't flush. So, uh, like I said, Mike is under the tough guy. Hey, look, you don't, you don't play at a division one school, uh, of, of, of great significance like Syracuse, uh, with, uh, without being a tough son of a bitch, you can't go through all the wrestling workouts. People that don't, people that don't follow amateur wrestling ain't got a clue how hard that is. Isolated men in a small s facility uh, and beating the shit out of each other and, 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 and wrestling to the major school against the best competition in the world. And then you're playing on a, a big time football program and playing. You're starting. I think Mike was a defensive end or defensive tackle. So he was a tough guy. Yeah. But he's such a nice guy, Conrad. Right. You know, he didn't, that got confused sometimes. So, I vaguely remember that, quite frankly, but uh, it was all during that time there in, 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 uh, in late 1990 that they kept looking for something for Mike to do. Well, they're going to find it. Well, yeah, but you can't get over changing your direction every week or two. People get confused. And look, pro wrestling, even though it's, it's, a, it's a big part of your life and my life, without question. A lot of people don't look at it that way. They look at it as an entertainment outlet. Sure. And, and, and it's as simple as that. And so when it gets confusing to follow, or you got to try, you asked me to explain the, the triple tower of doom. I think that match is too hard to figure out and nobody gave a shit about it because you can't explain it to your buddy. Now, what's this match? Oh, I don't know. Just watch, you know, it's, it's a gimmick. And so they're trying to steal the old, steal a house by having the gimmick. So anyway. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.